Hey yo, it's your boy HD, Face Off GM, War God Shogunate. We are about to get this preview in for our August 12th event that's coming up in a little under three weeks. I mean, we got some shits on this shit. We got some shits on this shit. So let's let's get it in. Let's let's go ahead and preview the event. We got Damn, who is facing JR? We got uh, yeah, Sammy Sosa. Yeah, he he, uh, he debuted at the last event, did his thing thing with uh, Barcode, beat him in OT. Uh, I I think they uh, yeah yeah they probably had battle of the night that night. Uh, so we got we got Sammy Sosa, you know what I mean, one and old young phenom. <laughs> Uh, coming in battling JR. Uh, this will be JR's uh, debut because his, um, something really fucked up the Connecticut event earlier this year. Uh, basically, traffic. Uh, a lot of actually it was in um, Rhode Island, but traffic in Connecticut fucked the shit up. Like we we could not make it out there uh, anywhere close to on time. So his battle didn't actually happen on camera. They they spit their bars to each other. Uh, but the cameraman and ourselves, we, we couldn't get there anywhere close to when the event was supposed to happen because we got stuck in Connecticut. Um, we actually met up with the cameraman and them uh, hours after the event was basically over uh, because we got we got caught in traffic. We got caught in the wash on the way up. Uh, so this will actually be JR's debut. If you haven't seen him, he's also battled at UW. D dudes, dudes, you know what I mean? He's a little seasoned. He's a little seasoned. So I, I think this is actually a good clash of styles if you've seen JR. And if you've seen Sammy Sosa, uh, they both can rap. You know what I mean, they, and, they, and they both have presence. So it's all about who's who's in their bag uh, that night. Hopefully they're both in their bag. I want to see a real good battle. Uh, but I, I think it's going to I think it's going to be dope. And uh, it's not one to sleep on. So, uh, you know what I mean, make sure you out there to see that. Uh, we also have uh, Mike Main. Uh, he's a face-off veteran that returned to our ring this 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 year, uh, and he'll be battling Otis Buckets. They're actually ranked, uh, I believe, seventh and eighth respectively in the league right now. So uh, it it should be an entertaining battle. Uh, Mike Main is, he, you know, I mean, he's a grizzled veteran. Uh, he's he's a uh, really settled into what it is that uh, he does. Um, He's found his lane and and he drives it very well. Uh, while Otis Buckets, he might still be finding his lane, but even with that said, he improves greatly from one battle to the next. Like every battle he gets in the ring, he is markedly better than he was the last time that he was in the ring. And the last time that he was in the ring, he was getting some pretty good reactions from the crowd. So uh, him versus Mike Main is fitting to be a real good matchup. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I said. You want to be there. You want to check it out. You want to see both of these uh, MCs get it in. We also have Barcode taking on Flames. Now, this is the only battle on the card that has a competition clause effect on it. And the competition clause goes something like this. If you're more than 10 ranks removed from each other, the person that is higher ranked is expected to win. We, So in this case, Barcode outranks Flames. Uh, Barcode's ranked 6th, and Flames is ranked 21st. Uh, so he outranks Flames by almost 15 spots, uh, or 15 spots exactly. I don't know. I'm not doing the math. You know, it's just, just I think it's about 15 spots, you know. Uh, but he outranks them uh, by a pretty good amount. Uh, Flames is only battled once in the ring, and he forfeit another battle, which is why he's ranked 21st right now. Uh, while Barcodes has won some battles, he lost his last battle, as I aforementioned, to uh, Sammy Sosa. But it was a real good battle, real good battle. Uh, there were a lot of name flips against Sammy Sosa because, you know, the baseball player. Uh, I don't know if all of all of the name flips were actually caught. There was a lot of baseball references in Barcodes. Shit, you got to listen to Barcodes closely. You know what I mean? Um, and then you know, you know, there was there was a little snafu in in the OT uh, that that also played a part in that decision. But Barcodes has bars. He's always coming with bars. The question is how good his delivery is going to be and how much it has improved since his last, uh, you know, performance. While uh, who he's battling, Flames, Flames choked badly in his debut, uh, both rounds. 
So, you know, he got off a little bit of material, and from the material that he got off, it, it seems like his pen game is decent, uh, and he's going to have to have he's going to have to have a really good pen game uh, to beat the pen game of barcode. I mean, so it, it's, it's an uphill battle for flames, but if he can get his shit off, you know, no stumbles, no chokes. Uh, and, and if barcode uh, doesn't improve greatly in his delivery, it could be a really good battle. It might be one, one to really see one to really watch. I mean, I, I think if they both perform up to their potential, it could be a classic. So we'll, we'll see what we get. Uh, when when it goes down, when it goes down, we also have Louis Valentine. You know I mean, uh, who who is um, his next ranked battle will be against Seize the Moment for the title. But this is a promo match he's got with Mick Shady uh, that's been booked several times on other platforms. First time that we've booked it, they're doing a one round promo uh, for two minutes. If you know, uh, if you watch Block City, you've seen Mick Shady before. Uh, you also seen him on Supernova. He battled former Face Off champion Flo Leeds. And if you watch Face Off Battle League, then you know who the fuck Louis Valentine is. And I ain't really got to say too much more about him. But I'm going to anyway. He's 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 uh, one of the grizzled veterans at at Face Off. He's been doing it a long time. Um, I think the upcoming title match will be his first. No, his second title match will Face Off. He lost his first t title match uh, against Flow Leeds. Uh, it was a triple threat between him, Flow Leeds, and Luminous. But uh, Luminous had forfeit before that match actually happened. Uh, there was a very good, very good battle. And in fact, I would say it was probably one of the one of the better face-off battles of all time. If you haven't checked it out, go check that out. Uh, also, we have on the card the the overall uh, number one contender, Ammo the Savage, battling Jay Kells. This has title match implications on it. Uh, if Ammo the Savage beats Jay Kells, his next rank battle will be for the title. It'll be for the winner between uh, Valentine and. Uh, Seize the moment, the current face-off champion. Salute, seize the moment. Please condone it. Uh, but we got Ammo the Savage taking on Jay Kells. Ammo the Savage is tied for the highest winning percentage in face-off history. Anybody with more than 10 uh, overall battles, Ammo the Savage's uh, record is actually 16 wins and 4 losses. He's been doing it a long time. He's been around since year one. Uh, Jay Kells is new. He's been around since last year, but he's 3-0. and He's undefeated. And, uh, you know, he's taking on uh, the, the Big Bad Wolf. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can knock his house down. Ammo the Savage says uh, no mercy. He's going to kill Jake Hells, but he also says he's not really motivated because Jake Hells doesn't, doesn't have any footage. Now, the thing about Jake Hells and his footage is two of his victories are via forfeit. One of his opponents quit like uh, a week and a half, two weeks before the battle. And uh, another one no showed him, and he beat Otis Bucket. So, who so I aforementioned is was ranked a is ranked eighth in the league right now. So he's he's got, you know, I mean he's he's got uh, his his victory. He's actually ranked fifth right now with those three wins. Um, but the the Otis Bucket's footage was unwatchable. Uh, Otis Bucket's choked really badly in that battle, and um, there was nothing. Um, particularly great about that battle so we just didn't put out the footage we quality controlled it it got vaulted uh so this will be uh a lot of a lot of people's first time seeing jake hells because up to this point jake hells has only battled uh in new england so this will be the first time you can see him uh, out in baltimore he's got a mixtape out he's been promoting it real heavy uh it's up on the page uh check him out you know what i mean uh that, that's that's the, the the little homie right there so um J. Kells versus Ammo the Savage, former face-off champion, trying to get that title back, baby. Yeah, I mean, there's also title implications for uh, J. Kells. I mean, like I said, he's already 3-0. If he takes off Ammo the Savage, it's only right that he gets a title shot in the near future. So we'll see what they do against each other in the pursuit of the title. You know what I mean? Uh, and as always, all of the matches that aren't promos are all winners take effect. So there's $50 on the line for every last one of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Let's get it in. It's going to go on at uh, City of Gods. That's uh, 111.8. Uh, I'll fuck that all up. That's 1,118 Holland Street. That's going to go down in Baltimore, Maryland. We're opening doors at 1 o'clock p.m. 
Uh, this is going to be an afternoon event. We're going to be out of there by 7 o'clock. There's a, a block party going on uh, later that night that we don't want to basically interfere with. So we're going to get out of the way. We should fuck around and stay at the block party. You know what I mean? Get it in. Face off, nigga.